Learning objectives. At the end of this topic, you will be able to describe section formula, evaluate problems using section formula, understand how to calculate area of a triangle if the three vertex points are given. Introduction. Section formula. Let's begin with a small activity. In the figure, if P lies on AB, it will divide AB in the ratio 1 is to 2, and B coordinates are given. How can you find the coordinates of P? Coordinates of P can be found as shown. Let the coordinates of P be x, y. Draw perpendiculars from P and B to the x-axis, meeting it in D and E respectively. Draw PC perpendicular to BE. Then by the AA similarity criterion, triangle POD and triangle BPC are similar. Section formula. Now let's use the understanding developed through this example to obtain the general formula. Derivation. Consider any two points A of x1, y1 and B of x2, y2 and assume that P of x, y divides AB internally in the ratio m1 is to m2, that is PA by PB is equal to m1 by m2. Draw AR, PS and BT perpendicular to the x-axis. Draw AQ and PC parallel to the x-axis. Then by the AA similarity criterion, triangle PAQ is similar to triangle BPC. So, the coordinates of the point P of x, y, which divides the line segment joining the points A of x1, y1 and B of x2, y2 internally in the ratio m1 is to m2 are, this is known as the section formula. This can also be derived by drawing perpendiculars from A, P and B on the y-axis and proceeding as above. Note. If the ratio in which P divides AB is K is to 1, then the coordinates of the point P will be The midpoint of a line segment divides the line segment in the ratio 1 is to 1. Therefore, the coordinates of the midpoint P of the line joining the points A of x1, y1 and B of x2, y2 is Let us solve a few examples based on the section formula. Find the midpoint of the line segment joining two points 3, 4 and 5, 12. Let us move to another example. The coordinates of the midpoint of a segment are 2, 3. If coordinates of one of the end points of the line segment are 6, 5, find the coordinates of the other end point.
Let's move to another example. Find the coordinates of a point which divides the line segment joining each of the following points in the given ratio, 2, 3 and 7, 8 in the ratio 2 is to 3 internally. From the learning of the previous chapter, area of triangle is equal to 1 by 2 into base into height. Finding the lengths of the three sides using the distance formula and then using Heron's formula is a tedious effort. Hence, let's work this out with the help of an easier method. Let ABC be any triangle whose vertices are A of x1, y1, B of x2, y2 and C of x3, y3. Draw AP, BQ and CR, perpendiculars from A, B and C respectively to the x-axis. Clearly, A, B, Q, P, A, P, R, C and B, Q, R, C are all trapeziums. Now, from the figure, it is clear that the area of triangle A, B, C is equal to area of trapezium A, B, Q, P plus area of trapezium A, P, R, C minus area of trapezium BQRC. You also know that the area of a trapezium is equal to 1 by 2 of sum of parallel sides into distance between them. Thus, the area triangle ABC is the numerical value of the expression. Let's work some examples. The coordinates of the vertices of a triangle are 3, comma, minus 1, 10, comma, 7 and 5, comma, 3. Find the coordinates of its centroid. Let's move to another example. Find the area of a triangle whose vertices are 2, comma, minus 2, minus 5, comma, 7 and minus 4, comma, minus 6. Summary Let's summarize the topic. The coordinates of the point P of x, y, which divides the line segment joining the points A of x1, y1 and B of x2, y2 internally in the ratio m1 is to m2 are the midpoint of the line segment joining the points P of x1, y1 and Q of x2, y2 is the area of the triangle formed by the points x1, y1, x2, y2 and x3, y3 is the numerical value of the expression.